Hey guys, it's Jennifer, and today I wanted to talk about things I use to track my reading. I track my reading because I like to go over later on in the year what I've read, what I thought about it, how long it took me to read it, that sort of thing, um, how many pages I read. And I do this because it feels good to see how much I've read it. It's kind of like an accomplishment. It just feels good to do. First thing I use to keep track of my reading are these post-it notes little tabs. I use these because I will not write in any of my books. I do not dog ear my pages. I use these for plot twists, if there's a quote I like, um, if there's something I don't like in the book, I'll tab it and maybe even write on the tab about what I tabbed it for. Don't damage the pages. If you want to take the tabs off, they won't rip or leave any sticky residue. I typically tab my poem books like crazy. Another thing I use to keep track of my reading is my tablet. I have a little tablet here and you can see my laptop. Um, I use my tablet for my Goodreads. I don't have it on my phone simply because I already have enough apps on my phone and my phone runs slow anyways because of Facebook and Twitter. But I have my Goodreads on here. I, I also do the yearly challenges every once in a while. And I like going into Goodreads every night to update my progress on a book, see how many pages I read that day. The thing I use on my tablet is something called Lit Charts. This is more so for something when I am reading a, a classic or something. Right now I'm currently reading Memoirs of a Geisha and that's actually on here. And you can type in, the, I know you can't see it because my camera is complete garbage, but you can type in what book you're reading. You click on the tile of the book and it has a plot summary, it has a thing about characters, themes, symbols, uh, quotes. If you're writing a paper and you are specifically looking for a quote about a certain theme, you could just click the quote section and it's color-coded with each uh, theme or symbol. See a summary of the chapter and right next to it there's an analysis and theme next to each summary so it's kind of like a t-chart just helps if you're struggling understanding the concept of a book or simply even understanding what you're reading lit charts is pretty much like a spark notes but on crack i use this all the time and even though i may know what's going on in the story and i the themes and analysis is pretty clear to me i'll still go to my lit charts to see if something i missed and it, it kind of helps you further think about what you're reading. The other thing I use to keep track of my reading is a journal. Um, I have a reading log journal. It's kind of like a bullet journal that I use. I do add pictures of what I'm doing sometimes in my Instagram. I will eventually do a flip through in here. Um, but basically, I keep track of the genres I read, how many pages I read, how long it took me to read a certain book, write down words that I don't know with their definition or if I found the word interesting. I like doing this because I can go back to it later on and see if my thoughts and opinions of the book change. I'll eventually do a flip through. I'll probably do it by the end of the year. Um, I just recently started journaling. It is new to me. I thought it was a great idea. It feels good to do it. I started this actually at the beginning of this month of July, so it's missing six months. It's my 2017 journal, but it's missing six months of notes and other things, but that's okay. It'll probably become a 2018 journal. This journal is actually pretty nice. It's faux leather. And I got this at Walmart for like $6.98 or something, and it was a pretty good deal for the quality of journal. So the last thing I use, along with my journal, is pens. Obviously, I like gel pens. Um, so I have a whole bunch of different Ink Joy gel pens. I believe they're fast, the fast drying type. Uh, I like gel pens. They write a lot easier and smoother. 
it helps with the fluidity of writing. And then I also have some Sharpies um, because I have nowhere else to put them. So the items I use to keep track of my reading. Do you guys keep track of your reading? Why or why not? Do you keep track of your books in a different way? Please tell me in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys again next time.